The President of the Senate of the Republic declared that it is not up to him to give sanction to the four group senators who conditioned the resumption of the meeting around the general policy statement of Jean-Michel Lapin and the formation of a complete cabinet without the presence of sanctioned ministers. Carmura Cantave considered legitimate the demand of the parliamentarian for the reception of ministerial file and the holding of a conference of presidents in the extraordinary to fix the responsibilities of the ones and the others and to impose a section agree by the rule of procedure. However, the recall that according to the democratic rule of the game, the assembly cannot separate the point of view and take appropriate decision until the end of the debate with these T's and entities supported by the law, the constitution, and the internal rules. Kamura Katav urged senators not to create any precedent that could distort the mode of operation and mission of the Senate institution, underlying that each power has its own function, according to a statement dated May 20, 2019. A delegation of the Corporation for Foreign Investment Abroad, OPIC, from Washington visiting Haiti met on Tuesday the President of the Republic, Jovenel Moïse, and his private residence in Pellerin. According to Foreign Minister Bouchid Hedman, this stop is part of the CIPO tour of the Caribbean region. It allowed delegates to make an, invest an inventory to attract the foreign investment needed to create jobs in Haiti. CIPO President David Bohingen, who welcomed the initiative, said he will also meet with members of the private business sectors as a part of this project. The Professional Association of Magistrate APM and the National Association of Haitian Magistrate ANAMH walk out today as a strike to denounce the interference of the executive power in the functioning of the judicial system. According to the president of the MPA, this slogan of strike was postponed because of Sentive bus of the lawyers whose party was commemorate on May 19. For Master Wando Saint-Villier, the, the end of the executive on the judiciary is at the origin of the impunity enjoyed by the authorities and wealthy people on the country. Preparation for the state exams are going well, reassured the Ministry of Education. More than 25,000 candidates of the ninth fundamental year will first be evaluated from June 24 to June 26, the MENFP said at the press conference on Tuesday in Delma. In addition, 112,554 candidates have registered for the baccalaureate exam scheduled for July 8 to July 12. 12, while 40,000 students will also undergo their exams during this period. The MENFB has warned that any candidate caught in a crime offense will not be able to participate in official exam for the next two years. In addition, a note that 2,726 students will not have access to the next baccalaureate exam due to the failing grade 9 exam. These cases have been reported in all regions of the country, noted the director of the National Bureau of Exam. In Gonaive, the Judicial and Police Authority jointly organized on May 20th with the Municipal Council a workshop of a work to define a plan to fight against insecurity, an initiative that comes after the March 15th of March of the various sectors to denounce the action of armed bandits who murder at least four businessmen in the City of Independence in the space of two months. Abroad, in front of the supporters, the president of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro, proposed early parliamentary elections. Objective, to regain control of a parliament dominated by the opposition. In fact, the National Assembly has no power since 2017, when the National Constituent Assembly recovered most of its power. This chamber was originally intended to draw a new constitution by August 2019, but no plan have been made 
made public. Acquired by Nicolas Maduro, it has extended its mandate at least until December 30th, 2020. Announces President Diasado Cabello, Nicolas Maduro, however, wished to recover power in the National Assembly to say to legitimize the only institution that has not been legitimized in the last five years, to see who has the support of the people, who's the voices, who will win, he said as he's rally in front of Miha Flores Palace. Still abroad, Malawi voted Tuesday for a tight presidential election between incumbent Peter uh, Mutarika seeking a second term and two serious opponents who have made the fight against corruption their favorite team in this very poor country. The 6.8 million Malarian voted have also renewed their deputies and local councillors in this small agriculture state of Southern Africa. Seven candidates were running for the presidential election, but the vote was taking place between outgoing Peter Mutarika and the vice president, Saul Chilima, and the opposition leader, Lazarus Chareka. Observers, thank you so much for watching. On behalf of the team, I wish you an excellent night. I'll see you tomorrow.